Oh, the last hell one. yeah. We mode achieved. Get this. Okay, there we go. Okay. So, it's been a hot minute. It's been a hot minute. Yeah. But like right Mordo. now, two people are Morning. dead. Yeah. Uh, is Wardo gonna be able to join, or is he eating dinner right now, actually? Um, he said he was helping with the test dungeon, so he's not gonna be here at all, apparently. Gotcha. Yeah. All so right. Gonna we have got to that. remember the voices. Oh, yeah, we gotta voice everyone! Uh, it's more like you voice, like, ten times as, as many characters <laughs> as I do. Do we need to reallocate? I don't know. Um, yeah, let's think about it. Uh, let's okay, just look so... at the roster and think about it. Alright, who is- this doesn't help on who's dead and who's not, though. This doesn't show who's dead. Can I show it through here? Yeah. Okay, Go, like, so... here. So, Nagito, you're sta you're sticking with Nagito. Are you sure? Are you sure you don't want your boy? Nah, you, you really can be Nagito. Life? Okay, so I've got Nagito. I'll be Gundam. Okay. Oops. Got Kazuichi. Okay. Nekomaru. Did you want me to do that? Or do you want to do that? You can do Nekomaru, because I think okay. I have more living characters. Okay. This is a I tough you one. Usually do. I think you usually do for you. Yeah, I usually do. I just wanted to give you an opportunity. If you wanted to be him, if you wanted no, no, no. to be the baby check. boy. Okay. okay. You're Akane. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Chiaki. Do you want me to be Chiaki, or do you want to also be Chiaki? Because... Okay. I currently have three characters. How many do you have? Uh, I have three as well. Okay. So, let me think. Uh, let's save Chiaki for whoever has less. Because we might okay. come out pretty even, actually. Okay, then you've got Sonya. Mm hmm. And then I've got Mikan. Mm hmm. So, we're even. We're actually four and four. <laughs> Wait, four are you four. counting the main dude? Oh, oh. Uh, I'm counting Hajime as well. Hajime, Gundam, Fuyuhiko, Mikan, that's four. We gotta count the bears. We're still even with the bears. We are even with the bears. Yeah, so... It depends on who wants to be... It's up to you. I'll just let you have it. it okay, you choose. okay. I'll be Chiaki. I'll be okay. Chiaki, it's fine. Okay. There we go. We got, we got it all dully... Dulled out. Not dullied out. We got Usami. Um, okay, I think we leave one. now. Yeah, we're yes, supposed to leave here and do other stuff. Just talking everyone. Yeah. So now we got to check out the motel. I'm pretty sure to check out Hiyoko's room and uh, check out some other stuff. So yeah, that's that's one place I remember we need to go. Motel. Oh man. Oh, man. He wants to be in my lap so bad. But I have my laptop in my lap, so I can't do that. Yeah. He can he can game with you, but not in that way. He's not much of a gamer. I mean, Yuko is also in the room, and she's our IT expert, but... I don't know if anyone's a gamer in this house, except for my husbando. Well, now you are. Look at you. <laughs> Look at me! <laughs> gamer city over here. Okay, so... Yeah. I just remembered, I never went inside any of the rooms in the motel. Plus, I don't even know where Hiyoko's room is. Might be faster to just ask someone. Okay, Gundam. So you have appeared. You're here, right? Come on out. Huh? Are you talking to me? I can see you. Did you really think you'd hide your presence like that? I wasn't trying to hide in the first place. Hey, which room was Hiyoko staying in? Listen well. Open the door to the center room. <laughs> However, are you prepared? Make sure you pray to whichever god you hold dear, and you might want to bring an extra pair of underwear. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder, how does this guy talk to his parents and teachers? Not everyone poops their pants. I'm sorry, Gundam. That might just You're be going you. to shit, boy. Okay. Damn right. 
Hey, Hajime. Oh, God. How do I do this? <laughs> God damn it. Hey, Hajime, can you... No, that's too... That's too... That's almost Nagito. A little more Boston, maybe? A little more yeah. Boston accent? Hey, hey, I'll do a New Yorker. Hey, Hajime, mm. can you explain it to me again? What happened when you first discovered Ibuki's body? Same as when I found it with you guys. Ibuki's body was hanging from the baton lighting. However, there was no body discovery announcement made. That's why I went to get you guys. Met up with Shaki at this motel, and when we were about to go back to the music venue... I get it. You met up with Mikan and me. When we ba went back to the music venue, the entrance door wouldn't open for some reason. I see. So we had no choice but to break down the door, and discovered Yoko's body was suddenly there too. Yeah, that's what happened. Hey! This is the most important part. Oh, this is Boston now. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, my grandma has... My nanny has a Boston accent. <laughs> when you arrived at the motel, who else did you... Who else saw you besides Chiaki? Um, as I recall... Do you hear me? A body was round! Oh, I'm Mona B. That's right in your mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye -bye -bye. Would it be? Do you spend a digital spot blind like Nagito in order to confuse us all? <laughs> He's such a hard uwu voice. Um. <laughs> <laughs> he is. Besides Chiaki, I also saw Gundam and Monami. I see. I see, so Kazuichi and Sonia didn't appear, huh? Do you think those two are suspicious? Like. Well, Hyoko was killed. Between the time you saw Luki's body and when we broke down the door, right? So obviously those two are the most suspicious since they weren't with us. That... that might be it, but... I... Oh, we're at it. Let me tell you my alibi, too. When the morning Monokuma announcement woke me up, I went straight to the hospital. I saw Mikan panicking in front of the hospital. I asked her what's going on and she said Ibuki disappeared. So you guys split up and looked for Ibuki, huh? Well, yeah. While we were circling the island, we came to the motel and saw you guys there. Did you see anyone else when you circled the island? Well... No, we went to the movie theater and that street full of machines to look for a buki. We didn't see anyone. <laughs> Are you implying I don't have an alibi because I didn't run into any bun? Any bun? <laughs> any bun? <laughs> anyone? It's unreasonable for you to tell me. The time that Mikan and I were looking for our... For Ibuki wasn't very long. <laughs> In that short time, there's no way I could have killed Hyoko and wrapped her around the pillar with duct tape. It's true, I feel like there wasn't enough time to do that after I left the music venue. But the fact is, Hyoko was killed, and we did discover her body. Huh? What? Do you still doubt me? Jeez. Well, I'm used to it. It's true, I've done things that I deserve to be doubted for. <laughs> so don't worry. Even if you doubt me, I don't plan on dismembering you and encasing you in concrete. Aw, I... thanks, buddy. <laughs> thanks, bud. I'd want to know in advance what I'd have to do to end up like that. You got my fucking truth bullet. You're welcome. Okay. I sound like Bernie Sanders. <laughs> Just like... Okay, so here's the thing, though. That's the suspicious part. Uh, we don't have time to death for either of these bodies. Yeah, and they were they were roasty toastied. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it's like you can give me an alibi, but that doesn't mean the alibi is clear for when the bodies were they were actually killed, so Exactly. And even then it's not it's not an alibi for when Ibuki died. Yeah. Pretty sure it's it's just a Hyoko alibi. So, Monokuma confirmed there's only one killer mm -hmm. in this instance. Not two. Like, there could be. It's possible, but only one for this one. Yeah. Yeah, so that's a toughie. But that does narrow it down. Clatter, clatter, clatter. It's like it's locked, but... The key was inside her kimono. Maybe if I use this... Freak. It opened. Just as I thought, the, this key was Hyoka's room key. All right, I should go inside. 
Where's Nagito? He hasn't crawled out of a vent yet. <laughs> yeah, saying, he hasn't been hey, like, hey, Hajime. Hey, yeah, hey, Hajime, what are you doing? I just, I, I see you left Hyoko's key. Like, if if Hajime left Hyoko's key, he would be here. No, He'd be like, wow. He's about to, like, pop out that vent. Be yeah. like, Hajime. Hajime, I, I just vent. vented. Sesamogus. <laughs> God, he's such a guy. He's he's so scrunkly. He really is everywhere though. Whenever like yeah. plot is happening and Hachimi's like, oh shit, I forgot like my coaster for my drink. He's like, oh this this old thing. Hi Ajime, I just saw you might want this. It's your limited edition Monokuma coaster. <laughs> like he's like kind of I don't know. He just carries the plot with him. Mm -hmm. Just tugs it around in his little tote bag of of feet drawings. Cause he did do that. We we must yeah. not forget what he did. He did do feet pics. Yeah. So he did old fashioned feet pics. He didn't even take a camera. He did it the old fashioned way. Alright, are you gonna check for a Monokuma in the room? Oh I I don't know if there is one in here. Well I'll check. So Hyoko was staying here. She only stayed here a few nights, so it doesn't really feel like her room, but... I feel a little conflicted. Oh, hi, Sonya. Oh, my! Oh, the door open. Yeah, Hyoko put the key in her kimono, so I used that to open it. Um... I... see. What? Did something happen? No. It is just... I'm starting to believe it might be my fault. Her fault? What does she mean? Hold on a second. I gotta look for. Oh, <gasps> you! <gasps> you! <gasps> toilet That's boy! Right. He's what on the toilet. No. Caught when shitting. I got you, fucker. Caught on the toilet in 4K. Check the bed. Is he wearing like a what is he wearing? Like a little poncho and a hat? Yeah. Poncho poncho Ooh. and hat. The bed Ooh. isn't messed up. Doesn't look like she was abducted in her sleep. Okay. There's nothing else to investigate. Okay. Hi Sonia. Um The moment Yoko came to this motel, she completely shut herself in this room. She was afraid of the despair disease. So was she cautious of you guys too? However, However, fear of the disease was not only a reason she locked herself in her room. She had another reason. Besides that disease, what other reason would make her lock herself in her room? Perhaps... Kimono. Uh, her kimono? Um... Um... Yesterday, I went to talk to her. Since she had been in her room for some time told her it might be good for her to go outside for a bit. She kept the door to her room locked. But by coincidence, it was not locked at that time. There's no such thing as coincidence, Sonia. I'm sorry. There's no such thing. Not, not in this type of game. And then, I saw it. Um... Oh, that's quite an image. So... This should be a woo, correct? A woo? No, no, Did she's telling it to Hajime, so it's not a woo. Not a okay. Yeah. Yoko was crying and struggling with her kimono sash. She didn't know what to smell bad, so she took a shower, but then she could not tie her sash anymore. Hiro was no longer with us, so I believe she was having trouble with it. She didn't leave her room because she couldn't tie her kimono, huh? You are right. The others might have thought it was just a silly sash. It must have been a serious issue for her. Um... Yoko told me she had learned how to tie her sash from Mahiru. Mahiru kindly taught her the basics. That's why... That's why... Oh. Yeah, it's Hajime, sorry. It would be a weird thing for Hajime to cut in, but they always cut in here in Dang and Rampa. Like, in between monologues. That's why mm -hmm. she wanted to be able to tie her sash on her own. Perhaps. She probably could not forgive herself for not being able to do it. 
Especially since Mahiru taught her. I... I could not really understand her feelings, which is why I said what I did. What did you say? Hyoko, by chance, Hyoko, are you oh, having she's trouble it. wearing your kimono? Are you having trouble wearing your kimono? Oh, she's reading it, E.B. Huh? It's voice. Stupid! What are you saying? Don't hear it. What? I can do it. It might be just really uh. quiet. Okay, yeah, I can't hear it, but I'll take your word for it. Very mm. weird to have suddenly voice acting in that. It's an important scene. I guess. Feel help? Because Mahiru taught me. That's why I can do it on my own. Could you hear it then? No, but now I'm thinking about it. Maybe I just don't hear like the stream itself, and maybe I just only hear in the voice chat. Oh wait, what? Maybe that's it. Because I don't remember hearing any music in the tile screen now that I think about it. Oh, are you watching the stream on Discord? I am. The volume is all the way down. Oh. The stream volume is all the way down. We're having issues. Okay, we're fine. Okay, hold on. Let me, let me just turn it down uh, just one... One smidge. Okay, now you should be good, right? The volume is all the way down. Yeah, I should be good. Yeah. Uh, um, if that is the case... How about you do it someplace where there is a mirror? Did you hear that? Hmm? Did you hear that? Yeah. Okay, good. Do you remember the full-length mirror in the storage room at the music venue? If you do it while standing in front of a large mirror, I am confident you will be successful. Also, shutting yourself in your room like this may be bad for your health. Um... And that was when she kicked me out. It cannot be. Could it be? Yoko remembered that? Are you saying she went to the music venue to wear her kimono? Oh, I can see that happening. Yoko locked her room and made sure she put the room key inside her kimono. Can't imagine that she was abducted by someone. If so, that's weird. Hey, did you tell anyone about that before the incident? Or was someone listening in on your conversation? Um... I never told this to anyone. And I do not believe anyone was listening in on our conversation. Nobody knew? That's the case. How did the killer know Hyoko was going to the music venue? Something's wrong. Sonya's account! What are you thinking, Evie? I don't know. Something is like, definitely, okay, so that was from last night, correct? Yeah. Hmm. Last night, uh, she went, oh, you can use the full length mirror, and to Hiyoko, seems like Hiyoko left. There Where's were... the full length mirror in the music venue? I can't remember specifically Oh, it's where in it the is. storage room. Investigate the storage room, right? Did we find anything in there? Uh, we found a couple of things. Oh, I need to investigate more in this room? Really? What? Uh, the bed? Mirror touched the... I mean, the I... Sink? Oh, the sink. There's a mirror, but it's so small and rusty. There's no way anyone can use this. I don't see anything else that looks suspicious. There's no sign that someone made a mess of her room. I don't think she was forcefully abduct abducted. I fe she was only abduct-taped. <laughs> Like I couldn't really find any important clue. Oh well. I like my joke. <laughs> okay. Where else do we go? I think maybe we go somewhere with the Buki. Maybe back to the hospital. Check her room in the hospital. I think. Yeah, maybe. Cause. Okay. That's the thing. So, figuring out the timeline of where Ibuki and Hiyoko were, I think, is going to be the most important part. Yeah. Yeah, I think so, too. Knowing where they yeah. were, like, who last, like, spoke to them, any details like that, if they have any, like, input. Yeah. Because that Cause... Sonya thing was very interesting. It was. Also, very coincidental. Yeah. Mm. Hi, Chiaki. Well, 
feel like I haven't been in here for a while. Even though it's only been a bit of few days. Okay, Kazuichi? Hey, you prepared that surveillance camera unit, right? Hey, hey! Yeah, so... I didn't make any weird modifications or anything. It's not like I'm suspicious or anything. Didn't you get it from that shady-looking alley where all those machines were lined up? Right. Yeah, I just tweaked it a little. Then, if there were other surveillance camera units, would it be possible to transmit a signal to the hospital from those cameras, too? Man... No, that's not possible. Originally, surveillance cameras and surveillance monitors are only used as part of the same unit. The video that was filmed with the hospital camera can only be viewed on the hospital monitor. The video that was filmed with the music venue camera can only be seen on the music venue monitor. Hey! But, if I left it like that, we wouldn't have been able to communicate, so I decided to swap the cameras. So that's how you guys were able to view the hospital footage from a music venue and vice versa. However, each surveillance camera unit manages its podcast based on a specific number. So, if you bring the same model camera or monitor, you'll be able to interfere with the signal. Meaning, even if another surveillance camera exists, it'd be impossible to broadcast with it. Huh? However, you didn't just drop the cameras. I modified them and increased their wireless range. If I hadn't done that, we wouldn't have been able to use it. You're right, you did work on that. Okay. Okay, so that means since we viewed it on the hospital camera, it was definitely the broadcaster, or no, we viewed it on the hospital monitor. So it was mm -hmm. definitely the uh, music venue. camera that was at the music venue. Yeah, that's can what any that's other way. she's saying. So let's mm -hmm. check a, take a look at this. There's a surveillance camera unit on top of the reception desk. As long as the music venue surveillance camera unit is destroyed, it's impossible to broadcast with it. Hajime! Hajime! There's something I want to ask you. First discovered Ibuki's body at the music venue, right? Why did you go for the music venue? There's a reason for that, right? Did you... See something with this camera? That's right! Oh! Wait, Hajime, you didn't say shit? <laughs> Hajime, you No! Idiot. Why didn't you say that to the group? You share with the class, Hajime! Hajime doesn't share anything. Dummy! Okay. Um, oh, I also wanted to ask you that. Maybe it's smart not to share it, though. Be different if the surveillance camera unit could record, but it's only good for household functions. Hey, hey. Tell me, Hajime. Yeah, that's exactly it. I saw a strange video in that surveillance camera unit. It showed the music venue stage. There was a black curtain hanging there, hanging like theirs now. But the whole display was pretty dark because they were just using candlelight. There's a rope hanging from the ceiling. Beneath that, there was a stepladder on the floor. Right away. Person wearing a hospital gown and hemp bag on their head appeared. I didn't know who it was because their face was covered, but now I know that it must have been a buki. She walked straight to the stepladder without any hesitation. She climbed that stepladder of her own free will, and then she grabbed that rope and. That's all I saw. The candlelight being used must have been snuffed out or something because the screen went dark all of a sudden and it wasn't displaying anything anymore. Man. Well, if the candlelight goes out, obviously nothing will show up. Our surveillance cameras have infrared functions, so things can still show up even in the dark. But the one I got from the machine alley was really old model. Ah! <gasps> Hold on! Well? At the time, you said you didn't know the person wearing the hemp bag was a Buki, right? Yeah. Hmm. You didn't know it was her, but you saw she was trying to hang herself. We rushed over to the music venue to try and stop her. But I didn't make it in time. Hey! 
do? She climbed the stepladder on her own. Does that mean she committed suicide? Wouldn't that mean she's her own killer? Buki committed suicide? What do you think, Chiaki? Hmm. There's no doubt if Buki climbed the stepladder on her own, right? Yeah, there's no doubt. So. Hmm. You. Hey, don't think for so long. You don't know, just be honest about it. Of course she doesn't. There's no way we'd be able to figure that out so easily. Hmm. Oh, angry. Uh, angry. <laughs> we. Ah. Oh. Ah. I need to investigate the conference room on the second floor. Hmm. I'm heading over there. <laughs> what the heck? You ran away all of a sudden. She said that. She said the conference room. But why would she mention the conference room all of a sudden? Also, I might just be overthinking it, but... Did she seem a little upset? Yes, yeah, she did the puffy cheeks, Hajime. She did the puffy okay, cheeks so... that's... We that's have a clear. Bullet that was like, whatever illness Ibuki was suffering. Oh, do you, do you want me to remind you? Oh, do we, like, do we have a truth bullet for that? Oh. Because, like, to gullible? say she climbed her own free will is, like, different, you know, than, like... Whatever the gullible thing was, or like influential. I don't know if we have the despair disease as a bullet in general. I feel but like that's an important note. I cycle through all these. We got the Monokuma file. Okay, we got blood on the soles for a buki speed. We got the rope. We got the key to the hotel motel room that Hyoko was staying in. Then her kimono. Got a thick scrap of paper that was stuck to the baton lighting. Mm. Got the music venue curtain. Got the very back of the music venue stage. It's not wide enough to reach the sides of the stage. It looks like it was brought from the supermarket. Not originally there. Got a step ladder with some blood on it. We got a candle. Got the surveillance camera unit. That's been slashed to smashed to pieces and no longer works. Got the AC temperature, which was 86. Got the smudge on the floor, which is evidence of a blood stain. It's believed the blood be belongs to Hyoko. We got semi transparent transparent glob, which is stuck where the doors touch each other. They touch each other? My god, have you pride? Um, <laughs> and then, yeah, Econ has our alibi. And then, <laughs> then we got the surveillance camera thing, which is our thing. We got Fuyuhiko's account. Yeah, that they were together. We got Sonia's, that she told Yoko about a full-length mirror in the music venue. That's, that's what we got. So nothing about the despair yeah. disease. You should have the despair disease, like, as a truth, but I feel like that's relevant. I don't know. But wait, you gonna talk to Akane? Oh, here. Hi, Akane. Now then. Finally getting back to my normal self. All right! Hajime, help me out with my recovery. You can touch my boobs if you win. No thanks. She was bearable when she was quiet. It'd be so much better if she was still feeling the after effects. She beat me up if I said that out loud. Anyway, why are you here? Hey, hey! Well, never been sick or hurt before, so I had no idea, but... <laughs> Hospital gowns are pretty comfy. Just thinking I might as well keep wearing one. Don't tell me you were you plan to wear hospital gowns from now on. Hmm. That's the idea, but it looks like they're out of stock. It looks like there was one gown for each patient's room, so I thought there'd be more in the empty rooms. There weren't any gowns? Yo! That's right. Ibuki died wearing one. So the only one left is the one Nagito was wearing. <laughs> I have no choice, but then I should use Nagito's. It's a unisex size, so I'll probably just fit into it. Hold on, what happened to the gown you were wearing? Huh? You saying I should wear the one I already wore? That's gross. Wearing clothes someone else is wearing is even closer. Like closer, gl grosser. 
No time to dilly dally. Oh, left me kind back at the vet music venue. Go get your girlfriend. Go get your girlfriend. Ah, I gotta go back soon. Well, it's okay since I already investigated the music venue, but leaving her on guard duty was a bad idea. I forgot she was supposed to be doing that. Yeah, she's like, I'll guard. Oh, I love her. I think, is this... Was this a bookie? Look somewhere else. Uh, oh, no, it's a bookie. No, that's like, I think the first one. I'm not going hers? Okay, and I know this one's Nagito. Pretty sure. Or was. I guess we can't look in their rooms! That's... Why? I don't know! Well, let's check on our pet. No shits. Usami doesn't shit. It seems. She does not. It's only... Uh, Usami shits only little cold glitter things. Yes. Lumpin's room is there any... In the staff room? Let's check out the staff room. This isn't I'm a room just for patients. That window. Oh yeah, <laughs> like we just we, we just hang out over there. Wait, wait, wait! What the fuck? What the fuck is going on with that window? Is that just a drop? I think it might just be a drop. <laughs> God, that's not safe. What the? Terribly Where, where's unsafe. Where's Osha? Where's Osha? Monokuma is Osha. Remember? There is no <laughs> safety. <Osha. laughs> Monokuma. <laughs> Monokuma is Osha this whole time. This isn't a room oh, for God, patients. That looks more like an all-in-call room for hospital staff. But all this cluttered medical equipment makes it look like a storage room. This is the only on-call room. Working in a hospital must be tough work. So if a room like this exists, that means there used to be people here, right? Seriously, what the heck is going on with this island? Any... The window. Oh my god, there's two of them. <laughs> is that just what the windows are? You just fall out? Oh my god. Yeah, they have like a little thing right there, but you it looks like you do have to fall out. Let's check this bed. There's a bed. It resembles the one in the patient's room, but these are probably for breaks. That's not the time to rest. I should get back to investigating. It let us in here, so there must be something in here. That's my... Logic. Medical equipment and nursing tools. There's a lot of other medical stuff here, too. This room looks like it's used to store equipment. There's nothing particular that catches my eye. There really nothing? You let me come in here for nothing? Monokuma. No Monokuma. Mon Mon no Monokuma. Sorry. <laughs> Today's the day. Monokumi. No! <laughs> Started this. What's this? It's pitch black. I can't see anything. Uh, where's the switch? Hey. Don't turn it on. Huh? Ch Chiaki, are you there? Cuz... If you turn on the light, it's gonna be fully exposed. It'd be embarrassing. What's fully exposed? Hey. Hajime? If you poke out your eyes, you can turn on the light. What are you gonna do? You gonna poke them out? I'm not gonna poke out my eyes. Aww. Aww, bummer. Troll fail. <laughs> such a gamer girl. No sooner did she finish saying that, I heard the dry sound of curtains being drawn. There's a flash of intense light that stung my eyes a little. I squinted my eyes until they started adjusting to the light. Rocky, were you trying to flirt? Was was that you being coy? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and I saw Chiaki had finished opening the curtain that was covering the window. Hey, hey. Are you surprised? Surprised? I don't get it. Well, I got it. Got what? See? Curtains in this conference room are designed to completely block out light. Hmm. There's a projector in here, so they were probably careful about light shining through. See? See? A black curtain that blocks light, and it's also long enough to reach the floor. It's perfect! A black light blocking curtain. 
That's why it was so dark. So, is something wrong with it? Hmm. Still in the middle of my investigating. What's a secret? Yep, she's upset. But still, what was all that about? That bit about it being embarrassing if I look and troll fail? Nope. I just wanted to mess with you. Yeah, she's definitely upset. Why is she acting so childish? I guess I'm done investigating the hospital. Should move to on to a different place. All right. BRB, one oh. second. I gotta... Oh. But look. Stand up. Look. Look at this. In the rafters. They don't even know about the hidden Monokuma in the rafters. About to descend. Going to Have kill Chiaki. No, don't kill Chiaki. No, look. <laughs> Primed no. to kill Chiaki right above her. Our hidden Monokuma. This. No. What an evil bastard. That's really hidden. Yeah. Uh, I've been found. But I got the Monokuma coin, so I got the Monokuma cummies. So, I guess I have to leave here. Jackie went... <laughs> Chucky went, I don't want to be around you. And Hachimi went, Ooh, okay. <laughs> what do I have to do? Huh? There's nothing in here. Do I go to Buki's cabin or something? I'm not quite sure. Like, there wouldn't be anything because of Buki... Oh? Hmm. Let's try going out. I don't think there'd be anything. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do on the... Like, I know what happens throughout this case. I just don't know what they want me to do right now. Hey, let me look at the map. I'm pretty sure they have areas of interest anyway, so... At the motel. At the movie theater. Oh! Oh, yeah. Oh, the movie! I completely forgot. We were the only one that didn't see it. Yeah, and they said something about it being the motive or something. So I guess this is where Nagito has been hiding. Where the plot is. Uh. <laughs> yeah. As always. Hello there. Hey, hello there, Hajime. I knew you'd come here. That means you noticed it too, right? Case is time. It's an imitation case in which the killer... Use the movie as their theme. I wouldn't know. I haven't watched that movie yet. I see. D. You really should watch this movie first. Hey! Manager! Customers here! Did you call me? Yes. Did you call me? Wah wah? Ah, uh, Hajime is the customer. Do you have a problem with that? What are you gonna do? <laughs> and you said you didn't want to watch it, but I knew you wanted to see it all along. If that's what Sundere Hajime looks like, then you're a really tough guy. <laughs> you're so devoted to being Sundere, you even bought the Monokuma sticker for $1.5 million. Huh? You paid $1.5 million for a sticker? I it's nothing. Listen up! In exchange for not wanting to watch this movie, Hajime paid $1.5 million for a Monokuma sticker. Come on, since we're talking about it anyway, why don't you show it to Nagito? Stop it! But my resistance was in vain. Monokuma reached into my pocket and took the sticker. Ta -da! See, it's this one! I'm sorry I was born stupid. That's... You bought this for 1.5 million dollars? <laughs> but in the end, he's still gonna watch the movie. Who cares about that anymore? Just hurry up and give me an invitation ticket. Here! Okay, here you go. It already says so on the invitation ticket, but it's only effective today at this time. By the way, I can only give away one ticket per person. 
You only have one chance to watch it for free. I've already stamped today's date onto the ticket, so you won't be able to cheat. Don't worry, I only plan to watch it once. Look forward to it, okay? Then I'll go prepare the projection reel. Please wait a bit, okay? Hey. Ah, Hajime. Put that invitation ticket. I strongly recommend you keep it safe. Huh? Why? Reason? Just think of it as a protective charm. Truth bullet. Or two bullet. I guess I should just wait until Monokuma finishes his preparations. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Don't you come here often, Nagito? Impossible. I you bought that thing. Hey, one point five million dollars for it too. But even you said you should have settled it with money to get out of seeing that movie. <sighs> right, but. Means I should have had to buy that thing, you know? Just leave me alone. Just like, I wouldn't have. Oh, Hajime, I said 1.5 million dollars. I wouldn't buy a sticker like that. I love myself, famously. <laughs> famously, he loves himself. That's true. No, no, no. Hold on, I'm still in the middle preparing. Don't rush, don't rush. Are you sure? Hasty boys get hated, you know. They might even get hated by boy bears, too, you know? You can hate what? me all you want. I'm rushing. Let's Akuma, look at Pop what? join. Yeah. Hasty boys. Hasty boys. Hasty boys. It's a food shop. A lot of things like popcorn, sandwiches, and drinks are all arranged here. I don't think this pertains to the incident at all. But what if? Oh, yeah. I think they want us to click the goods counter. That reminds me, that item should be on top of the counter. This one looks like you tote bag me your handcuff with the detail of mine too much face on it. Ah, did I catch your eye? It should all purpose tote bag. You were useful for a variety of common tasks. Is it a weighted item? Only one person can have it. <laughs> God damn it. My Yamu is turning different. It's becoming <laughs> different. Evolving. <laughs> Evolving or devolving? Who knows? If the tote bag is gone, then that means... What's this? Well there, were you interested in buying that tote bag? Too bad! Well, that's just too bad! It's already sold out! Who'd you sell it to? You're so stupid! Stupid! There's no way I'd fall for that. that! There's no way I'd say something that'll reveal who the killer is! <laughs> so the killer bought it. Shocking. Ah, ah! I remember you said there's only one because it's a limited item, right? Hmm. Um, it's not limited to one. It's more like it's limited to one person. What's the difference? Hey, um... When you buy one bag, you get another one free. It's a common practice to bait customers with, with bonus prizes. For some reason, hearing you say that pisses me off. <laughs> Monokuma's account has been added to the true pull section of your handbook. Well, now. Now then, I should forget that I carelessly made a slip of the tongue. Now then. Looks like the preparations are complete, so please enter the theater right away. I can't wait! I can't wait! <laughs> this is exciting! Exciting! Should I go make popcorn? Am I about to be in for a... Oh, it's a treat. treat. Oh, oh, good. Let's go outside. <laughs> in order to get close to the truth of the incident, it's necessary for me to watch this movie. Okay. <laughs> Just wanted to leave. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. Oh, hell yeah. I'm ready to spiritually... evolve. Yeah. Ascend. Ascend. Um, I apologize for keeping you waiting. World-famous director Monokuma presents a stunning masterpiece that reduced American audiences to tears. The Wizard of Monomi 2.5D will be screening shortly. From the title alone, I have a bad feeling about this. 2.5D, that sounds so half-assed. Now, Ben, please relax and enjoy the film.
Wait, shoot him. Let me. Wait, 5D. Monokuma was born in a remote village full of old people because the death rates outpaced the birth rates. One day, Monokuma was swept up by a tornado created by a helicopter gunship during a routine military exercise. Uh huh, you getting the plot? You getting the plot? Yeah! And was whisked away to Monami's country. Monokuma wanted to return to his homeland so he could go back to pestering the old people for change. So he began his journey to see the wizard, Monami, who was rumored to grant any wish one desires. Along the way, he met a very loyal group of friends. Monokuma met a Monami scarecrow who was missing a brain. When he recommended that she commit suicide, the Monami scarecrow hanged herself and died. He also met a Monami lion who was missing her courage, so he pumped her full of arrows. He also met a Monami tin man who was missing a heart, so Monokuma yeah. sliced yeah. her into lumps of iron. Well. After a lot of other stuff happened, Monokuma finally reached the wizard Monami, the great and powerful. Eventually, one thing led to another, and he started beating the crap out of Monami. Is this a glitch? I don't think it's supposed to show the iron Monami. Yeah, it was supposed to show wizard Monami. And in the <laughs> it end, he somehow usurped the kingdom from her. This isn't even worse screening. <laughs> With this, Monokuma enslaved the old people took their pensions, and lived the rest of his days in luxury. How do you feel and about he that? he lived happily ever after. The end. Feeling? Alright, so... Lion is the third murder that didn't happen. No. As far as I can tell. Lion? Lion was, uh... Filled with arrows, uh -huh. and you can yeah. see in the picture, uh, pinned to a tree by the arrows. Um, but the Tin Man was the one that didn't happen, because that's the one where one sliced. sliced to pieces. Yeah, like, and Yoko's throat was sliced, right? No, she was, uh, her throat was sliced, but she was, um, taped to the pillar. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Also, the narrator for that was Monokuma's voice actor, as far as I know. <laughs> yeah. That's Just so doing nice. a different voice. Phew! Man, movies are the best! That drama was so moving that I needed two boxes of tissue, one for each head! So... You get it? Like, like, penis? Now then, let's meet again at the class trial! Uh, bye bye Goodbye! Bye! Bye! I'm too disgusted to even let out a sigh right now. All I can say to describe this situation. Have you ever done that? Like, like been to a movie and just been so underwhelmed that when you got out of it, you were just like, well, that was my life for that moment. Yeah. I mean, could have been worse. Nagito made it sound like a room. Yeah, I mean, like, I feel like in, we we should have workshopped it, seen other people's opinions as well, see how they were, like, you know, check Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> like, see like, the rating. Just apparently the harshest film critic like on the island, because damn, he like he he was physically sick on this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was ill. He was disgusted, revolted. Mm hmm. Okay, so. <laughs> I'm thinking, though, uh, that I can't recall anyone having a backstory with old people, and I just don't know. No, I think that was something. just, you know, Monokuma's, uh, manifesting of life goals. Wants to live in a bunch of 
old people villages and get their, their money. Mama. I guess if that's what Monokuma wants. Yeah. And like, how does that make a motive? Like, did I miss something? Uh, I don't know if it's the motive. Per yeah, I don't know. I thought it was called the motive. I don't know, is that the motive? Did he even say it was the motive? I don't think he did. I think the despair disease was the real motive. Maybe he just wanted to be fun, fresh, flirty. Make people think, oh, you can choose to see the motive. Or you can choose not to. Okay. Except it wasn't okay. the motive. At least I don't think that's the case. Like, I, it feels very much like one of Monokuma's whims. I'm just trying to figure out why, like, copy the movie. Like, why specifically copy the movie, then, if it didn't have anything to do with the motive? Yeah. I'm not sure. I, th I think we will find out, though. All I right. can tell you that. Alright. Go. Alright. How was it? Actually, I don't even have to ask. I totally expected your reaction. That was honestly the worst movie I've ever seen. Is it even okay to call that a movie? Well... Thanks to that movie. I know, right? Yeah. Just like he said, the characters who were killed in the movie match the victims in this case. Uki's death by hanging matches the Scarecrow's death in the movie. Not just that, but Hyoko's suspended body matches the lion's death, too. But... It would have been a complete imitation if the killer killed three people. Seemed that was impossible. <laughs> Perhaps the killer's upset about that right now. Or if the killer's main goal was just an imitation murder, they should be upset about it, but I'm not sure if that's even true. Blizzard Amonomy is in my true bullets. <gasps> oh? Oh? Are we case time? Already? Class trial? Oh, I feel like I don't have enough information. Hello! How's everybody doing? It's me, Monokuma! Yay! Awesome! This is how I enter voice calls. Yay! <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> the class trial is gonna start, you know. So, make sure you guys come to Monokuma Rock ASAP! <laughs> I'll see you soon! Next time we get a ding dong, we have to do the bing bong, like ding dong bee bong thing for Warden, for his spirit to rest. That's for his spirit to rest, yes. Yes. It's already time. So, this again. You go to that place again. Now's not the time to be a coward. Reason Ibuki and Hyoko became victims in order to find the truth. The only thing I can do is go. Check our... Let's check our... Our baby. No shits. Literally, no shits. No babies. She hasn't even given birth an egg. Yeah. Where's my egg? The evil wants to get a shit of me. Yeah. We want to get a shit of me. We want shit of me now. I'm gonna look up strats to get shit of me just out of that. Just so we can have her. I guess I'll just walk the rest of the island so maybe we can prepare for a shit of me. You know. Hmm. Um, okay, here's the thing. Despite, like, not even being able to call the last case at all, like, the last case I at least felt like I had some decent suspects. I uh -huh. really don't know on this one. Like, I feel like there's so many, like, much missing information, and, like, I'm sure as the trial goes along, it'll piece together fine, but, like, I can't even say who the, like, main suspect would be in this case. Yeah, it's a tough one. Like, this one is it's just... Ultra complicated. It's no Celeste, Celeste being the murderer one, where you just read no. that straight away. You're like, I know the full <laughs> twist. <laughs> it, was, it was so obvious to Celeste, but like, yeah. here's the thing though, like, we don't even know the times of death, so we can't even give anyone alibis. Yeah. Um, like, the only the... person we can give an alibi is ourself. And like. And unfortunately, Nagito. Yeah. And I would say Akane. Yeah, I think Akane the ones who and Nagito. Sick have the strongest alibis. Yeah. yeah, I think it's the fact that they're sick. They were just really fucked up. Nagito was mm. gonna die. <laughs> he could have died. Dying. Um, if we had literally, if we did not have an ultimate nurse, Nagito would be dead. Absolutely. This is his ultimate luck. 
just Mikan being at this island at this time. Um, yeah. But yeah, it, it's a tough one, especially with this roster. Uh, most of these and people are quite likable, minus Kazuichi. Except um, for Kazuichi. Um, but also the thing too is like, Figuring out the motive. I'm like, what is the motive for murdering? I understand Hyoko, but why Ibuki? Like, I understand Hyoko, but why Ibuki? Yeah, why her? Like, I get it. We all wanted to murder Hyoko. We were all thinking it. Honestly, oh, yeah, we were all thinking Ibuki, it. If you had murdered Ibuki, I'd give you a murder pass. I <laughs> yeah. you couldn't, but I would. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, we technically can't excuse it in terms of, like, um... You know, Hajime can't excuse it, but maybe Hajime would give like a little bit of slack. Um, like, eh. Sounds yeah. like they had a pretty good reason, you know? Murder yeah. sometimes can be excused if yeah. it's the person we don't like. Yeah, yeah, sometimes. Um, everyone who heard the announcement had gathered in front of Monokuma Rock. And soon enough. Welcome! Is everybody here? Do you guys want to go to the class trial? Wait! Hey, jerk! Hold it right there! Monami's such what? a dumb child! Don't get in my way! You're just a dumb little sister who's short a few, a few brain cells! Hey! My brain works just fine! Hey, hey! Nakuma! What did you do with Nakamaru? Hmm... I see! So you've come to avenge him! That's... Avenge? Sounds like he died! <laughs> Sounds like you say... Oops! Anyway... Anyway, since Nekamaru is unfortunately unavailable today, let's just say he's absent! Uh, bye bye Now then, I gotta go first! I won't let you! Uh, uh, hold on! I won't let you escape! Hey, hey! Hey, did you hear what he said? Huh? Don't worry about it. There's no way Nekamaru's dead. He's just trying to piss us off. D damn it! Of course he's not dead. There's no way. Not in a million years. Well... More importantly, it's best if we worry about ourselves for now. <laughs> Something happens here. Every one of us except Nekamaru will die. <laughs> oh, why are you so excited about that? How about it? Who knows? Maybe I'm just looking forward to seeing poetic justice prevail. What do you yearn for? What are you saying, fiend? <laughs> we'll find out soon enough. See? Then let's go. I'm gonna do it! Alright, let's hurry up and get this over with. Yeah, you're right. Go into the mouth. Let's get bored. Bored time. Oh, uh, Nekomaru also has an alibi. Yeah, Nekomaru. Nekomaru has the strongest alibi. The cleanest alibi, even. Mm -hmm. He stepped on the escalator and ascended towards the gaping maw of Monokuma Rock. That's when I suddenly noticed it. I noticed our lined up silhouettes getting smaller and smaller. I can't turn back now. If I turn back, I won't be able to press forward. And when everyone was inside Monokuma Rock. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Into the Monokuma belly. Yay! Tommy, the easy rhyme was there, it was Tommy. Stoves. <laughs> you did your best. <laughs> we, it's okay. I did it, I did it though. <laughs> no, but, but you did the best at the moment. You know what? Oh. Doesn't matter. It's Pride Month, baby. The gays can do no wrong. That's yeah. correct. Yeah, yeah. Every 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 gay mistake allowed. Oh, hi, Anor. Hey. We're just talking about Pride Month. That everything is allowed. Every there's no war crime in Pride Month. Uh, it's just what I wanted to say. That's not related. I just thought it would, you know, no gay person can do a war crime on Pride Month. Happy Pride. Oh. Um, the elevator began its deep descent as usual. Nobody said a word. We stood there trying to figure out what to say to each other. The elevator descended deeper and deeper. 
Also, yes, Anor. Gays are allowed to commit war crimes during Pride Month as a treat. A yummy, yummy yeah. little treat. Exactly. Yeah. And Miss Rhyme things. Mm. Yeah. Miss Rhyme, uh, confidently say the wrong word when they mean another. That's one I'm going to try out this Pride Month. <laughs> <laughs> just, just full, full power. Those who can draw top-down views are so powerful. Yeah, I guess this... You know what? This is a powerful... This is some powerful art. And they got rid of the anti-aliasing line that was around the first one uh, here. You can see no white line or white pixels. Now oh, I did that yesterday. Yeah. Powerful. Pride, Pride Month... Pride Month power. To say the thing confidently. Um... And when it descended as far as it could go, it finally stopped. The elevator doors opened slowly, almost tantalizingly so. Light poured through the other side, eroding the boundaries of the darkness. And I walked into that place. What? My, my, it feels pretty toothless with all these empty seats. <laughs> Well, two people got killed at the same time, and, and Nakamura is not here either. Hey, hey! Is Nakamura really not participating? He's alive? You should invite him! No, no! Why bother? That's... What? Well, now. Now then, let's begin! It's the beginning of the long-awaited class trial. Please enjoy it to your heart's content. Oh, that's a quick one. No, no wait whatsoever. And so the curtain to the third class trial was about to open. Buki Miyota, the ultimate musician. She was really loud, but she was the mood maker of our group. When I was with her, all my pain and suffering just seemed to melt away. Yoko Sayanji, the ultimate traditional dancer. Just looking at her adorable face, you'd never know she was actually selfish and foul-mouthed. But she was trying to change herself, and she was desperately trying to come to terms with Mahiru's death. The person who killed those two is among us. <laughs> I definitely can't believe it. But... Whether I believe it or not is irrelevant. Till I figure out the truth, I won't be able to escape from this hell. Calling it that the Obi Sash being tied in the front is gonna be important evidence. Okay, I will will remember that in or. Hmm. That's why I must find out, no matter the cost. Yeah, we finally finished. We're on the same murder, we finally um finished the investigation. So we're now doing the class trial. For our sake, for our friend's sake, for Buki and Hyoko's sake. And so the curtain to the third class trial was about to open. This life-threatening trial building with hope and despair has begun. Yeah, let's save our progress. What if I said no and then quit the game? <laughs> That's damn sequel. That would've been really gross, wouldn't it? that have been a lot of cojones on ya. Yeah. See. Good boys. I need to go to the uh court card. Then I need to go. Burner focus. What is this one? Charisma. I have delusion. First. during non-stop debate. Okay. This one allows you to lock on two statements at once. Okay. Maybe this one? Two statements at once. Hmm. How can I not get this? Oh, I have... Can I not get this? Oh, do I have to unlock it? I have to unlock it with lock someone. It? Oh, I thought that wasn't a feature in this game. Uh, you unlock- I think you unlock the ability to get it by hanging out with people. Oh. 
Uh, let me. This one. One composed. Tranquility. Fine sword. Okay, I. I'll just get my sword better. Go back. Set skills. Oh, I think we might actually. It might just show us if we have it. Maybe that's it. Um. That is. Yeah, I think it's just that we have it. Okay, we're good. That's as much as I can do. Finish our preparations. Trial time! Now okay. then, let's be during the class trial. If you vote correct, I'll punish. Oh well, who cares about this boring explanation? Let's get on with it already! I don't mind starting the trial, but I don't really have a grasp of how the case played out. You know, because I was asleep the whole time. <laughs> Even if you do grasp it, you're just gonna confuse the heck out of us, aren't you? But Nagito's not alone. I don't really get it either. You're fine. Your head's empty anyway. Shut up, Kazuichi. Shut the fuck up. Empty head? Huh. What's wrong with that? Oh, she said... She said bimbo rights. She said it. To us. Listen up. The emptier your head, the more dreams you can stuff inside it, you know? She's so right. Inspirational. She's yes. so right. <laughs> anyway... We shouldn't proceed with the trial if those two can't participate in the arguments. Since he's the first witness, why don't we ask Hajime to explain the incident and the sequence of events? Oh yeah, they don't bother animating lip flaps because that would be so much work. I don't know how many artists they actually have on this, but the main artist is just one guy. Um, who's known for this style, so... Seriously? One guy? Like, the main artist, so I think maybe... I don't- I'm sure they have other people to do, like, all the color and stuff, and maybe, like, line art cleaning up and stuff. But it that's is, like- insane. Like, one- That's why the style is so specific, because it is one specific guy. Uh, you have to search up- I'm pretty sure they could not have done this with just him, because that's wild. But I think they- They rely on him for a lot of the stuff. Um. Like, all the CGs, I'm- I don't believe the CGs are, um, a different person. I think they're all him. That's why they mm. have, like, that, uh, that, like, lineless paint style. Mm. A lot of them. Yeah. Yeah, it's well known for being... Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's not... There are better examples of, like, places that can do, like, the stuff where they really... They have, like, a main, like, art director or whatever. And then they can do all that stuff because they uh, don't just put it all on them. But I'm pretty sure for Danganronpa, I don't think it's all on him. I just think they just prioritized just getting his stuff done. Like most of it being his style. I don't know. Yeah. Um. Then let's start with when we split into the hospital team and motel team because of the despair disease. The hospital team consisted of Nagito, Ibuki, and Akane, who were infected, and Mikan, Fuyuhiko, and me. The other five on the motel team were myself, Gundam, Kazuichi, Chiaki, and Hyoko. Spending the night at the hospital was prohibited, so Hajime and I had to sleep at our cottages. I woke up at my cottage on the day the incident happened. Mikan came by to wake me up and told me that Nagito had recovered from his symptoms. We immediately headed over to the hospital, and after we confirmed his recovery, I made Mikan rest in the on-call room, since she hadn't slept all night, while I waited in the hospital lobby. And then, I saw the incoming signal light on the surveillance camera blinking before our scheduled time. When I pressed the button to turn on the monitor, what appeared on screen was... A video of someone wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag on their head, climbing a stepladder. Amazing! That's such a hard-pounding story! And then what did you do, Hajime? This <laughs> is so corny. Why is he like this? I, I tried to stop them, of course. I rushed out of the hospital and ran to where the video was being recorded, the music venue. 
But it was too late. <laughs> Anor says, dude, please don't sound so turned on by that. I'm sorry to say, but if all crime is legal for the gays this month, that also means we have to accept Ayuto being horny. Yeah, I guess we do. I know, I know we said it's Pride Month, but maybe can we be homophobic to one gay man? I'm sorry, but we can't. We can't, we can't make assumptions like that. Oh, God. I guess he has to live. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. By the time I arrived, the person wearing the hint bag on their head was already hanging from the ceiling. I thought I should tell the others right away, so I headed to the motel. Why the motel? Because it was close to the music venue, and unlike the hospital, there were more able-bodied people there. Okay, Anor, I'm gonna have to stop you there. Do not say Nagito is spiritually straight. Do not- <laughs> You dare say that about Nagito? This is the this most man. crusty gay man you will ever see. He's scrunkly. Yeah. He's there's no point. No, no, no. You are incorrect. Just patently incorrect. I I can't even. I can't even. We we. I just can't. This is just Stop unconscionable. You're breaking the streamer. You Stop just, it. You're breaking the streamer. Yeah, you're breaking me. You're breaking me right now. Just so I can say what I know in my soul. You don't even know, Anor. How dare you say that about some funky little white hair anime boy? How dare you call any of them spiritually straight? Um, what chapter are we on? Uh, I don't know. Sorry, I was just yelling at my friend. Uh, <laughs> we're on chapter. Is this chapter? What chapter are we on? We're on case, case three. three. But chapter something else, right? If I were to save it, what was my last save? Oh, chapter three, I guess. Who died? Uh, Hyoko and Ibuki. Dead. Yeah. Deceased. You're not upset about least, Hyoko. That's that was thought. an improvement. The only person who came with me was Chiaki. But I remember feeling a little relieved because not long after, we met up with Mikan and Fuyuhiko. We were also looking for Ibuki since she disappeared from our site. After I rested for a bit, I started counting everyone at the hospital. And then, I noticed Ibuki was gone, so I, I sprinted out of the hospital. Coincidentally, I ran into Fuyuhiko, so I pled with him, in various ways, to see if he could help me out. Various ways?! Come on, Kazuichi. Don't say it like that and confuse people. Baby boy. Our baby boy! After I heard from those two that Ibuki disappeared, I had a feeling she was the person wearing the hemp bag. So I immediately led them to the music venue. Oh, fun fact, Hyoko's death was a last addition by the developers. They didn't so need wait, to do that. Oh, if they no. didn't do that, then Warden and Ibi would have suffered because she would have lived the whole game. <laughs> I... <sighs> It didn't need to add Hyoko at all. Like, we could have just had a Hyoko-less game. We really could have, and I'd say yeah. that'd be the fun improvement. <laughs> Anor says, I stand Hyoko. I actually kind of like Hyoko. Uh, I do think uh, some improvements need to be made, but I also feel like I know too much about her to not like feel bad for her <laughs> yeah. in some sort of small way. Um, but there are better shitty kid characters. But the door wouldn't open. Since we had no other option, the four of us broke down the door. And when that happened, we didn't just find Ibuki's body. We also found Hyoko's. And not just that. Her body was taped to a pillar. Oh yeah, like I... Anything you're gonna say in chat, uh, just remember not to worry about story spoilers but i do like i know what's happening in this game this is eb's first rodeo or second yeah. rodeo rather of I'm the one that the gets the bitch the yeah. entire time yeah that's when we heard the body discovery announcement not once but twice in a row and so we decided to lower the hanged body didn't we when we removed the hemp bag just as we feared it was ibuki so that's how the case played out. Thank you. I understood it very easily. Well, it's clear what the problem with this case is. 
When Hajime left the music venue, who... Wait, how do I know anything Hajime just said is true? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just like, wait a second. Can my gaslight gatekeep boy boss? Or what is it? Manipulate male male flame? Male wife? Male wife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, damn. Monami just swinging in the wind there. She does that every trial. Huh? Sorry. I'm only being impartial right now. And the story I just heard is clearly suspicious. Hajime, if you're the only one who saw the hanging video and the first one to discover Ibuki's body... Oh, no, she's hanging like that because Monokuma put her like that. Yeah. Then you could be lying as much as you want right now, right? Lie? Why would I lie? Obviously. So you could make us ignore what might be an inconvenient truth for you. Do you doubt me? If you're not lying, I would like you to prove it. Come on, try to prove it to me. Prove you're not the killer. You're correct, Blade. Ugh. Just as Kazuichi said, Magito's the kind of guy who'll just confuse us and make matters worse. Damn it, I shouldn't have explained it to Nagito. I'm in trouble now thanks to that. Confident for a man who wasn't awake for any of this. That's Nagito! That's our baby boy! Hajime's testimony is clearly suspicious. If Hajime's testimony is a lie, then the fact that Ibuki hung herself... That would also be a lie. I don't think I can deny that possibility. After all, Hajime is the only witness! Why would Hajime lie? Well, obviously, because he's the killer. Did Hajime kill both of them? The fact that the bodies were imitating the movie... Means it he probably is movie. Hajime's fault. Never saw the movie. He knows that. <laughs> he just wants to be a piece of shit. If you think about it in a gay way, Hajime's he's setting up his alibi. Clearly suspicious. If Hajime's testimony is in the fact I that think about that it in the gay way where he's can, like, I'm all, setting it up Haji so you Haji well, obviously, are because of suspicion. The fact that the bodies were imitating the movie. But still no, causing that's trouble wrong. on purpose because no one was suspicious of Hajime anyway. I'm not the killer. I mean, there's no way I'd be able to imitate that movie. Of course you're not. I already knew that. God damn it. Huh? Well, Hajime, first off, yeah, he knows. He told you to see the movie. Before the incident, yeah. Hajime had never watched that movie. His invitation ticket is proof of that. Now imagine that... Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, Anor, you get it. Now imagine if Nagito had said, don't watch that movie before the trial starts. And then there's no way to prove that Hajime didn't see that movie. Well, except his ticket. Oh, no, not, not his ticket, his sticker, right? Mm -hmm. And would Hajime want to show the whole class? His Share ticket? with the class. Share with the class the sticker that says, I'm sorry, I was born stupid. Maybe. <laughs> Would he do that? He would do Oh my god, I would love a reality where he had to do that. That would be the funniest one. Each person only received one ticket. And they're marked with a stamp that shows the date and time. Isn't that right, Monokuma? Yes! No mistakes there! Which means there's no way Hajime, who never saw the movie, could commit murders that imitated it. Or did anyone tell him what happens in the movie? Of course no one did, right? Hold on a sec! You're the one who brought this up in the first place! Nagito, what are you doing? Well, since we're opening with your witness testimony, I thought we should solidify the foundation. The one time Nagito's being a pal and everyone's like, What the fuck are you doing, dude? Fuck off. It also provides a good warm-up. What warm-up? This isn't a game, you know. It's called being a male wife, Mr. Knockoff Renji from Bleach. Does that a reference appeal to you at all, EB? I understand what it means, but damn, I know we're going far back. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get mad. I just think warming up is really important. Especially since this isn't a game. 
What a waste of time. Well, I knew it would turn out like this anyway. I need to clear Didn't we all, Chiaki? Didn't we all? Now then, since we know Hajime's testimony is reliable, let us move on to the arguments. Nor said, look, babe, I'm ancient. <laughs> so this means Ibuki definitely climbed the stepladder all by herself, right? I don't know how it proves that. A comic leaping ahead. Yeah, I'm positive. Well, Hajime's positive. Then that seals it. Ibuki committed suicide. If Ibuki committed suicide, then who killed Hiyoko? Yeah, how would you prove that? I don't know how you prove that. Hmm. A murder coincidentally occurring in the same place as a suicide ain't possible, huh? Like I said before, it's pretty clear what the problem with this case is. The killer murdered Hiyoko while Hajime was gone. So all we gotta do is establish who could have possibly done that. Then let's ask Hajime. How long would you say you were away from the music venue? I couldn't have been gone for more than 10 minutes. So they killed Hiyoko and taped her up within 10 minutes? There's no way that's possible. That's why the killer stalled for time by making the music venue a closed room. Hmm? What do you mean a closed room? The killer blocked the venue door from the inside to try and keep us from entering right away. However, that door is the only entrance to the music venue, right? If they blocked the door from the inside, the killer would not have been able to leave either. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Which means, when we broke down the venue door, the killer was still inside. <gasps> they were? If that's the case, the only suspicious people are those who don't have an alibi for that time. And that's you two! Sonia and Kazuichi! M me too? What the hell? Why's it gonna be us? The others all have alibis. Chiaki, Mikan, Hajime, and I all broke down the venue door together. Gundam met up with Hajime at the motel right before that. Oh yeah, we did talk to- I was about to ask, why is Gundam fine? <laughs> we met him! <laughs> and if Akane and Nagito were laid up in the hospital, the only person that leaves is one of you. There's another person who doesn't have an alibi. You know, Nekomaru. Me too! Why are you talking like... Huh? Y you're kidding, right? You're not up to something weird, are you? P please stop making bad jokes! What, what are you thinking, E.B., about our, our suspects? Mm, too easy. Too easy? Okay. Yeah, anyway, it's, if the killer was the hiding inside the venue, death, so it's not we should simple, obviously like doubt the people who don't from. have alibis. Yeah. Okay, but what if the people in the hospital weren't actually sick? What if they're faking it? Nagito almost died from the despair disease. He was foaming at the mouth. I don't think faking it's really an option. Also, I don't think Akane knows how to fake cry. That's what I no. think. I feel like Abuki would get bored. Just yeah, doing Abuki her thing. Was, like doing shit like that would be way boring to her, so I don't think so. Also, they had noticeable fevers. Um, mm -hmm. all three of them. What a wicked way of backing us into a wall! Is this his professional skill? The killer was inside the music venue. Hiko obviously thinks so, but... Is that really it? Interesting. Uh, the killer was still inside the music venue. By locking the door from the inside, they tried to keep us from getting in. It seems they were trying to stall for time. How did they lock the door? Why couldn't they lock the door from the outside? That door should not have had a lock. Oh, it doesn't have a lock. The lock was on the floor in front of the door. Okay. Oh. Are you talking about the broken drumstick? You can use that as a bolt to lock the door. By doing that, the killer who was hiding inside waited till we gathered together and suddenly appeared. So they looked like they had just rushed over. I have seen this in serial crime dramas. 
Yeah, she would know. Stone, you would know. That okay. person's remark contradicts the truth. I should be able to prove that with my evidence. The killer okay. was still inside uh... the music venue. By locking the door from the inside, okay, they tried right. to keep us from getting in. It seems they were trying to stall for time. How did they lock the door? That seems right. That door should not have had a lock. So it's one of the yellow ones. The lock was on the Sign floor in front of the door. Are you talking about the broken drumstick? You can use that as a bolt to lock the door. By doing that, the killer who was hiding inside so only the two waited until we gathered together. Oh, yeah. Only the two yellow ones, I think. And suddenly, okay. so they look like they I have seen this in serial crime drama. I thought there was a third one. That was my bad. Okay. The killer was still inside the music venue. By locking yes. the door from, from the inside, inside, they tried to keep yes, us from so getting in. We don't know if they were stalling for time? It seems they were trying to stall for time. Stall for time. How did they lock the door? That door uh, should not have had a lock. The lock was got, on the floor in front of the... Let's look at our evidence. Okay. Um, yeah. Let me... Let me look at the evidence. Are you talking about the broken drumstick? Monitor. Oh yeah, let's just look at our evidence. We got this one. This is evidence. So we got the motel room key. Um, mm -hmm. for evidence. Scrap of thick paper, I think, is another evidence. I don't think curtain was. That was at the top. The top? Like, or no, that was tape. That was that we were looking at. Tape. This scrap of thick paper. Like, there was like a bunch of tape and stuff. Uh, where? Like on the pillar that uh, Hyoko yeah. was like. Well, we're on. talking was, about like, the door. Yeah. Okay. So the drum signals were put there. Um. Yeah. Step ladder. I don't think. I don't know if we can. If we're thinking about it, the two bullets are. Are they stalling for time or are they locking the You can inside? use that yeah. as a bolt to lock oh. the door. By doing that, the so... kid waited till we get and suddenly it So they look like they had just put So stalling for time. Do we have anything that can get rid of that? Um I don't know. I mean I'm just thinking like so stalling for time if we mm, the candle? Candle even have that. I don't know if this is part of our evidence, but it's the uh, one that lit in the surveillance one. Okay, but that's maybe not the video evidence. is pre-recorded. The, there's no possibility that the video could be pre-recorded. That's no, a, we like. Yeah, we check through that. Too. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I think the two things we're trying to prove wrong are uh, stalling for time and stalling for time. Yeah, stalling for time and locking it. The killer was still inside the music venue. By locking the door from the inside, the they tried off? to keep us from getting uh, in. Let me check. No. Let me check. I don't even remember that. What is this talking about? Oh, that's the thing that uh, <laughs> Chiaki ate this. <laughs> a, a strange glob that was stuck to where both the music venue doors touch each other. Um, Tastes like chemicals. I mean, I I like what? how that looks. Hmm? Um. So okay, that could have been what locked it instead of the drumstick, but the drumstick is not what we're like debating. Yeah, we're debating. We're debating if it was locked. On that one. It could check the door. Yeah. It locked. You check it, or if you could check it. What do you want me to do? I was just thinking, like, who checked the door? Did, like, we check the door, or did Fuyuhiko say it was locked? I think he's saying that the lock was also, like, the... Well, Kane's saying that it was the drumstick, and Fuyuhiko agreed with that. Um... So... What I'm saying is, we don't know if the door was locked, if Fuyuhiko was the one to check the door, and just pretended it was locked. Yeah, but we also tried it. We had to break it down. We had to break it open. Okay, so that was my thing that I was like checking to make sure that it was like not just for you to get the test of it. Because I, it's been like two, it's hard to remember. Yes. Yeah. 
uh, Anor, the drumstick was between the handles to bar the door shut. Uh, but there's something else. And uh, from what we can tell, it can't lock. Lock? So... Yeah, there was no lock on the door. The yeah. drumstick was just shoved in between. Yeah. So, so what are you thinking? So, it has to be, like, we have to somehow prove that they were stalling for time. Okay. Or that they weren't stalling for time. Um, that's my thinking. Just trying to How did they lock the door? That door should not have had- The lock was on the floor in Got front it. of the door. Paper step letter. Are you talking about the broken drumstick? You can Try use that as a bolt to then, lock the like, door. Lock the inside, I guess? By doing that, the kid waited till we get and Let suddenly me, I guess started from the beginning. I've seen this in yeah, serial sorry, crime dramas. It's okay. This is but part this of the process. The killer was still in by locking the door it's from the so inside. Hot and melting. No, that's wrong. Oh. Uh? Oh, whoa, whoa. Hold on a sec. There's also a possibility that the door was locked from the outside. Wait, did it say locked from the inside? I don't remember it saying that. It did say locked from the inside. Specifically, it said locked from the inside. I'm a fool. <laughs> I didn't even remember that. I mean, I knew what it's the like, answer yeah. was, but I didn't remember you that the part. Glob in there, you could lock it from the outside. Yeah. Exactly. Also, Nor, you got it. From the outside? How? It was a semi transparent glob stuck to the venue door. Maybe that's what they used. Semi transparent glob? Like, rubber, maybe? Wasn't rubber at all. That semi-transparent glob was probably... Gum. Gummy. Rubber. Rubber? <laughs> Do you want me to click it? Um, no. Can but I like, not even for the goof? You can, you can. You can. It's, it's, it's Pride Month. It was definitely rubber. But did they pop the rubber before they used it? I believe a specialized appliance would be necessary. Crap! She's right. It looks like it'll be difficult to use rubber. And rubber at all. It was... I can say blue. Okay. I <laughs> see. Permission. That semi-transparent glob must have been glue. Glue? Yeah, I think so too. I mean, she ate some. It had a firm gel-like chewiness. And I could smell workshop chemicals the moment I put it in my mouth. Based on all that, I'm certain it was glue. I didn't know glue was edible. No, it's no, not Kane. It's not, it's not. No. I believe it is not something one typically eats. That glue was only applied to the areas where both doors touched. By pouring it in the gaps of the closed door, they must have sealed the venue door from the outside. And thanks to that, a glob of glue was left where the door was stuck. Yep, it fits perfectly. But, if you just stick them together with glue, you'd be able to break down the door easily, you know? That doesn't really matter. The killer only did that to make us think the door was locked from the inside. What'd you say? Oh, Chucky detective mode. First of all, didn't that drumstick we found seem really obvious? Almost unnaturally so? It was so obvious. That it makes more sense to think the killer placed it as a diversion. Are you saying the drumstick was a trap the killer set on purpose? Oh, Anor says, EB, look, you an emoticon. Oh, my little smug face. Yes. Then I... Do you have quite the energy. I totally yes. fell for that fucking trap. Apologize to Miss Sonia. And me. However, you're not allowed to slice open your stomach this time. My kabooks are dropping a little bit. I might grab... I might need a quick bathroom break. I will be right back. I'll get something to drink. Why don't... Why don't we both get some drinks? Yeah, I can grab a drink. BRB. I, need a drink. I will be right back. Wissy Wissy? Shut up! Hydrate, shut up! Shut up, shut up, shut up! Being so mean to me. Wissy Wissy, I'll be coming with you.
Right, the stream is now EB ASMR popsicle eating. I don't have to do ASMR though. You could do crunchy popsicle, but that's about it. Oh, hi, man. Hey, damn, man. Hey, damn. But he's so stinky, Anor. He's a stinky man. Uh. Equal sonar. Stinky. Is that true? Yeah, you're stinky, too cool. No! I'm stinky smelly! <laughs> Why is my yeah my kabips are being a little a little fruity today? That's a compliment, because it's Pride Month. But it also is Oh, wait, they're good. They're not red anymore. <laughs> they're not Excellent. strawberry. Strawberry. Oops. Okay. Whew, I just ran down the stairs. Sorry. I had to get myself some tea. I'm gonna have a little drink of tea. Got yourself a hydration? Well, I have a popsicle right now. I'm waiting on my nachos to arrive. Ooh, any special, special accoutrements to those nachos? Full pork. Little pork, any like peppers, any little funky little peppers. You like jalapenos? Do technically, peppers physically hurt me. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. Like, but not in the bitch way of like I can't take heat. In the yeah. um, the physical, get, the physical. I will get mouth swelling pain kind of stuff. So. Yeah. Different, different, uh, different situation. I still but... love them and I will honestly eat them a lot. Um, but we should limit and like choose our battles. Yeah. I, I feel that. I mean, I have, I, I'm kind of like the IBS King thing going on. <laughs> where it's like, oh my kabibs really are failing mm -hmm, right now. Mm -hmm. Hold on. They're red again. But I have the IBS King thing going on where I just, oh boy. Definitely have to choose my battles for what will treat my stomach right. Yeah. <laughs> for the for the real pain. <laughs> it's like sometimes we have hubris as well. You know, when oh, it comes to food. All the time. Yeah. All the damn time. Like you ever get like whenever you get like really annoyed at like when your your animals do something like eat too fast and throw up and then continue eating too fast? You gotta look in the mirror and say, am I different? <laughs> <laughs> am, am I built different? Am I built in any way different than a creature just trying so desperately to enjoy some yum yums? Am I the different? Is no. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. I'll go through hell and back. I'll act I'll I'll go to super IBS mode. I will do that. For what? Little Little joy. It's big joy for me, but hey, the misery. <laughs> the misery that yeah. follows. Choose. Oh. It's truly, it's truly. Oh, no, no, no. I understand your language of kabobs, but existential, philosophically, what are kabobs? I don't know. There's a thing that I can't keep a decent amount of, even though my internet, I feel, isn't bad. Like, I don't know what the deal is. Because I got a dec a decent internet. But it's good now. So it can continue. Alright. Didn't want me to talk about IBS, huh? 
kebabs. In a quarrel, both sides are to blame. That's why it's better to just have no sides at all. What if he's a fucking centrist? My god. Gross. Can't believe it. So, Gross. during the 10 minutes Hajime left the venue, the killer murdered Hiyoko and created a closed space? And they also taped her up after killing her, right? Even quick yeah. work has limits. Oh, what unimaginable speed for a slow poke like me. If they couldn't have done it while Hajime was away from the venue, they must have done it earlier than that. Oh? Earlier? But when Hajime got to the venue, only Ibuki's body was there, right? And when you went back with everyone else, Hyoko's body was there too, right? But it's possible that the body was just revealed at that time, when Hyoko was actually killed earlier. Just revealed? Of course, the body wasn't revealed on its own. The killer did that too. Here, I have proof. Agito just like, here are my receipts. Hmm, that scrap of paper. Is that what we found in the baton lighting at the music venue? That's right, but just what is this scrap anyway? Scrappy oh, the glue was on? Hmm? Oh, the glue was on? Uh, no, the glue was on the door. This was no, on... I mean, like... Oh, the baton... This was on the baton lighting? Baton it was on lighting. the ceiling. Like hanging from like the lighting setup, you know, if you ever go on like a stage and you see like this like metal grate sort of thing. It's not like a metal grate, but it's yeah, like, but like it's like like a coat hanger, but for lights. Yeah. <laughs> at the okay. top of it, that's what a baton okay. lighting is. I know, cause right. I played on a stage before. I played harmonica, kind of. Did you do a little tappy dance? No, <laughs> never. Oh. If anyone knew how to do some tap dance, it's probably my sister. Did Irish dance? I think that's called river okay. dancing, where they do the tap stuff. Hmm. At least not that I've noticed. Like, their kabobs have been fine, just like Discord wise. Yeah. Make sure. I'm gonna go refresh the stream, see if it came yeah. back up. Yeah, I think it's still back up. Okay. No, it's not just your internet, Anor, it's mine. I think it's Twitch. Yeah, I think it's somehow Twitch. Uh, let me check. You only have two bars of internet, that's probably not helping. So it could be combo. I think it's definitely combo. Uh right. Let me check Reddit. Reddit, the place we all go for answers. Uh Do a game patch or something? A real patch or something? So odd. So you ever have the problem of oops characters allergic to shirt? Yes. Always. Let me just turn my bit rate down then. If I really have to, I will. This. It's already pretty low. Um. I get it. I think it's just an issue. It's like not I'm not the only one. But yes, I do definitely have that issue of uh oops, characters allergic to shirt. That scrap that was stuck on that scrap that was stuck on the baton lighting in the music venue. Now I should be able to figure out what it is. What could it be? Oh, Hangman's Gambit. Wow! We love this game! This is the best one! What do you think it is? Oh, we've got some L's. I think there's an L. 
Those M's are W's. Those are W's. Are there so many of them? Uh, oh, we got an R. That's new. All right, it says, uh, Sovereign Sequel is now live. Okay, Yay! so maybe Kabups have rearranged themselves. Part of the wallpaper in the storage room? My kab Why are my kaboops being so kab nasty? Why is it even red? It's above. Like, it goes from red when it's above my bit rate. That's so crazy <laughs> to me. This is so buns. Sorry that I keep pausing, like, having to pause, because it is really bad. Taking another memento. All this good. Thing, I might be wrong in the network path to pitch. Have y'all also been having a heat wave? Uh, it's always hot. In Alabama, this is like normal summer weather. It there. Is, it is like in, like it's like in the 90s, late 90s. <laughs> like. Yeah, uh, I would say, uh, this high temperature isn't normal for Ohio. Oh, yeah. Definitely, yeah, it sounds very much not Ohio. No. Uh, it's felt like 106 the past three days or so, and it's gonna keep up. But we're oh. not used to this weather. I might need to just change. Let me try. Can I change my server? For my settings for Twitch. Stream. Fans. Ah, Nor. Uh, Ohio has been cursed. It's always been a cursed land, but usually we're cursed with horrible winters, not just, you know, melt off. The entire infrastructure level heat. It is evil temperature. No, if it makes you feel better, I have a man on my lap. Oh, hot boy? He is so hot, it's stupid. Like, his body heat is making me think I'm going to start sweating. Not as hot as Crowley, but oh my god, this is a dense fluffy man that is like retaining heat. He's a hot boy. Or hot, hot lad. Network. I think we'll be able to get through the case tonight. Um, barring kaboops. Barring kaboops, I think we'll be good. I might have to do this later. If it crashes again, I'll I'll set it up. It is quite frustrating. Right, I'll keep for watching. Me. Um. Yeah. And I'm also I can just watch. I can see my kaboops at every turn. So I'm pretty good for that. Um, that scrap isn't it part of the wallpaper in the storage room? Oh, he said that. Why am in I reading music it? Music venue storage room. There should have been black wallpaper that's the same color as that scrap. Oh, are you both having cat time? Well, not the same. Nor's just curled up. Got, got your... Your gal curled up somewhere different, but... Very jealous. 
Um... There was also a tear along the edge of the wallpaper, wasn't there? If so... You're right. If you overlay the scrap that was caught on the lighting with the tear in the wallpaper... See? It fits perfectly. I see. So the scrap that was caught on the baton lighting was originally part of the wallpaper. And what's wrong with that? Does it have something to do with Hyoko's body disappearing? A mere nobody like me isn't important enough to answer that. Okay, Nagito. But if you guys were exceptional enough to identify that scrap of paper, you can figure this out easily. That scrap of paper stuck to the baton lighting was part of the wallpaper I found in the storage room. Is it connected to the sudden appearance of Hyoko's body? If I trace back from there, the answer should become clear. God, he's so condescending. Yeah, he is, Anor. Yeah, he is. I can only imagine Nagito fanfiction. Oh, his fanfiction? Oh, oh yeah. I have so much I could say about Nagito. No wonder Kanye you let him get in. <laughs> well, I have lots of thoughts about Nagito, and it's that he exists in a place where he genuinely hates himself, but he also thinks he's better than other people. And it is a fluctuation that I find absolutely fascinating. He is truly the most character. He's like, I think I'm better than you, but also I truly hate myself. <laughs> it's amazing. All right, let's give this a try. Uh, gifted Kid Syndrome, got it. Kind of like the opposite, honestly. Like, a bit of it. It's weird. Um, I could go hug wild about it. I oh, no! Surfer! Oh, oh, God! <laughs> How did I... I'm a freaking freak. Huh. Are you surfing the web for the... The information, looking up the Yeah, I'm surfing URLs. the net. This is what the 90s told me internet was be would be like. Yeah. I know oh, only okay. what the Timmy Turner into the computer special tells me about the internet. That's exactly what I think it is. Question one. Why did Hyoko's body suddenly appear at the crime scene? It was brought there, it was hidden. In obviously as a wallpaper, am I right, E B? Mm, did they just literally have her body hidden behind a wall? That's, um, a little fucked. That's a little fucked, huh? What is- yeah. she was killed! Ah, yeah, true, but disrespectful. Like, pretty disrespectful just to, like, They were like, no, it's, it's about Ibuki, not about Hyoko. Question two, what did the killer use to hide her body? Ooh, wallpaper. But you don't even give any other options, it just- No, no, like, I- we'll I just couldn't wait. I was going too fast to give you a chance to guess. Oh, the other okay. option was the curtain. Sorry, I can't un -auto mod you. Oh, fuck. I guess I can now. No, I can't. <laughs> but Anor said... something about not like the other girls. I'll fix it if I can. Once I get to it. I can't un -auto mod it, but... I, I will later. Question three, how did the killer hide her wadi body with the wallpaper? They formed a wall, they covered the pillar. What do you think? They covered the pillar. Yeah. Nice one, Ibi. I'm a detective. We did it, we got to the gay zone. Now let me on auto mod this. Hello? Oh, uh, whoa! Warden? I'm smelling a little gamer's feet that I haven't smelled in a while. Oh my god, he's here! He cometh! Who's... Equal, whose feet am I smelling? Well, I don't know. They're not mine. But maybe... I covered yours in gelatin. Ooh! EB? Is that you? No, I only stick with my feet in pudding. No! Then, Gordon, you gotta look down. Oh my god. Where the fuck are my feet? <laughs> you just noticed he fell into my trap. Oh my god, you touched my feet, Kate? No. Anyway, anyway, I swear to god I'm a normal person. I just came back from D&D. &D. 
I had a great fucking sesh. Uh, let's hop in dungeon test. Uh, so, hey, who murdered? Uh, we don't know yet. We don't know yet. It's all coming together. We're learning. We just learned that Hyoko's body was in there when we found Ibuki's body the first time. It was just covered Got by it. wallpaper. Hyoko's body was hidden yep. before we found it. Yeah. But it would have taken quite a long time to tape up a hidden body. No, the body was already taped up and the killer hid it, along with the pillar using the wallpaper. What? They hid the pillar? Yeah. By wrapping the wallpaper around the pillar, the killer was able to create a slightly larger pillar. So when I first discovered Ibuki's body, Kyoko's body was already there. You can see it right there. And you can eat... Compared to like the uh, pillar on the left, see how that takes a lot of it fucking is? skill to do that. Yeah, it does like pretty pre-planned. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, Hyoko did say like she was hiding, or it was said that Hyoko wasn't seeing anybody. So it's this probably was oh, days. We got advance. a piece of juicy evidence on that. We got an account from Sonia. She said she saw Hyoko last night. Yeah. Saying yeah. Sonya's a fucking killer. Maybe. However, because it was concealed within a slightly larger pillar, I didn't realize that at the time. I was hoping. I, I definitely. I paused on these CGs so you guys could see if you saw the difference, but I wouldn't see the difference if I didn't already know. <laughs> but you can oh, yeah. see yeah, here no, it's I, much thinner. I, I would have just assumed it was bad art or something at best. Yeah. No, it's good art. Well, that's understandable. I mean. It makes sense that you'd notice Ibuki's body right away. So they use the baton lighting on the ceiling to hang the wallpaper? The baton lighting forms a perfect circle around the pillar. So using it to hang the wallpaper totally fits. Then, the reason the wallpaper was covered in so many stickers was to make it look like that pillar. That's how they hid Hyoko's body and then peeled off the wallpaper as soon as I left the music venue. But the killer made a mistake. They accidentally ripped off a piece of the wallpaper. And because of that, a scrap was left on the baton lighting. Hello, Marigold. Yeah, also, Anor, yeah, they are kind of... The subtle side differences, it's kind of hard to see. Oh, yeah, thank you for the subscription, Warden. I bet we... You've been streaming pretty constantly for a fucking year now. Yeah. How do you feel? Are you some sort of little gamer? I've become a gamer. I feel like I've become a gamer at this point. Twelve months. That's how. Yeah, oh, that's longer like than. Happy baby. birthday! Happy You're birthday! The gamer. <laughs> I've been streaming longer than that, but I'm indeed the gamer. It's Pride Month. It's good that this is my uh twelfth month. Pride. Yeah. The pride we have raw. The killer must have been in a hurry. Their plan took too long. Hajime could have walked in on them. But going to the trouble of hiding the body and the pillar is very bold and risky. But the crime itself would be much easier to pull off since they don't have much to do while Hajime's gone. They don't have anyone else to kill. They Ugh. just have to peel off that wallpaper and stash it in the storage room. It's not that big of a deal. Then, when was Hyoko actually killed? Good point. And on that note, it's about time we shed some light on those imitation murders. Um, you mentioned imitation murder more than once. But what is that? Does Monami not know that Monokuma made a movie about her? Nope. No, I didn't see, fully. I didn't see what the movie was about. Oh, it, it was just like, it was called The Wizard of Monomy 2.5D. And, uh, it was like, it was bad. <laughs> it was just not, it was just a little, like, clip show, essentially. No, Monomy has no brains, no memory cells. That's true. Monomy is indifferent. Are you kidding me? You haven't seen my masterpiece? The Wizard of Monomy 2.5D? Hey! Don't put my likeness in your movies without my permission! You're pretty noisy yeah. for someone who eats mothballs! I don't eat mothballs! I just enjoy looking at them! I knew it! 
There are so many similarities, it must have been intentional. Ibuki's death by hanging matches the Scarecrow's death from the movie. Not just that, but Hyoko getting taped up after her death matches the lion's death. It's as if both crimes were replicas of scenes from the movie, although the mutilated Tin Man was omitted. But why did the killer go to all this trouble in the first place? Why? Based on what we know, know too, the funny. reason the killer chose these imitations isn't that difficult to figure out. The reason the killer imitated the two victims in that movie, I should be able to explain now. Let their accomplice escape to mix up the killing order to hide the weapon because they like movies. I think to mix up the killing order, right? Unless you, I don't know. What do you think, E.B.? Well, to mix up the killing order sounds like the most plausible because to hide the weapon doesn't really matter in this instance, I don't think. Yeah. Um, and we were already confirmed that there's only one killer in this instance, so mm -hmm. no accomplice. So, um, Crap. it could oh, be just because oh, they like beauties. I took too long. But what if they like movies? <laughs> they could just be a purist. They I'm just so like sorry. Movies. Uh, it makes up the killing order. I see. Selected. Yeah. I think that was the first time we've had it. The reason out. the killer imitated two yeah. of the murders from the movie that was so faster than it normally the does. Order. Then, Kyoko was actually killed before Ibuki? A valid line of reasoning. Yeah, it's valid. The condition of Ibuki's body suggests that as well. What do you mean? <laughs> if you're going to cry and beg like that, then I guess I'll hear about the condition of Ibuki's body. She didn't. I'm not even crying. But she is begging. <laughs> I'll let you sob as much as you want later. Just hurry up and tell me before I change my mind. God, I hope Gundam's not... If Gundam's the burger for any of this, I'll be fucking pissed. I'll be sad. He's such a little <clears throat> dorkus. He's a full dork. Idea, I don't think he could kill. I think he'd try and he'd lose. What a jerk! Oh, I oh, see. God, I want Sona you want to me die. to explain it to you, right? <laughs> because you don't understand what I'm saying, right? Oh, Chiaki, I love you. <laughs> oh, I you see. You want me to girl explain it? Yeah. <laughs> An even bigger jerk? Impossible! I feel Look, like these lines are Ibuki not well translated. Because she hanged herself, right? I think the point is he's going to be like, oh, I'm admitting I'm a jerk, but she has surpassed my power. I love that. That means when she was still alive, her feet were touching the floor. What's wrong with that? But it seems Ibuki was still standing when Hiyoko was killed. That would mean Hiyoko was killed before Ibuki. <laughs> How light. Your words are so light, as light as the sylph's feather. God, Gundam's talking like he's the murderer. I hate that. <laughs> I like your like opponent is time. out of your league. It is too absurd to try to perplex me so inadequately. If Gundam's a murderer, uh, I'm quitting. Okay. Because there's no yeah, hope in the world. Being annoying again. Kazuya, just shut the fuck up. Don't talk about our baby boy like this. Don't talk about our son like this. Our collective son. We each, in one part, created Gundam. Gave birth. Yeah, we all gave birth to him. First At the same and time. foremost, yes. you claim Ibuki's feet were touching the floor when Hiyoko was killed. How can a low-class creature with no psychic abilities like you know something like low -class that? Low-class warrior beat a salient Saiyan elite. Because she was doing something that's only possible if her feet this. were on the floor. It seems you suffer from a pathetic delusion. <laughs> You're one to talk. Anyway, if this continues, we're just gonna talk in circles. I think it's best if we clarify Ibuki's status when Hiyoko was killed. Oh, my clips are being a little weird, but they're not being weird for long, so it's fine. Um, OMG, where did the ha hamster come from? The hamster, where did it come from? Oh, he has four. They're his dark devas of destruction, and they live in they live in his scarf. He's the ultimate breeder. Hamsters are bringers of destruction. Yep. Okay. 
When Hyoko died, Ibuki's feet were on the floor. Feet. I am telling you to present your evidence. Did you see her walking? If her feet were on the floor, was there any sign she stepped on something? I mean, what? would that be it? Even any footprints at the crime scene? Maybe her feet Ooh, were on the floor. With blood but she on was the like souls? sitting or something. No, but I mean the blue so thing. So instead, there'd there. be a mark on her ass. I'm talking about weak, 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 I say. It doesn't even pierce my heart. Jackie said Ibuki was standing when Hyoko was killed, but is that really true? The second, I think when it's the Hiyoko second blue died, one, the one that Ibuki's uh, feet were on the floor. I am telling you to present your evidence. Did you see her walking? If her no. feet were, was one. there any sign she stepped on yeah, something? Were there even the second, any like, footprints at the crime scene? Maybe her feet yeah. were, but she was like, sorry, I, so instead, I, be, weak, I missed weak. it. It doesn't even pierce my heart. I missed it like a fool. When Hyoko died, Ibuki's feet. I am telling you to. Did you see her walk? If her feet were, was there any sign she stepped on something? I agree with that. Yeah, do not, do not backseat my shooting. You don't know what it feels like. I, I know what it feels like because I played, I played shooting games. You have not played Danganronpa though. This is not the same game. Do you agree? It's not an FPS. No, it is an FPS. It's just the hardest one. That something was blood. There were faint blood stains on the soles of her slippers. That is not Ibuki's blood, right? She suffered no external injuries. Then it's Hiyoko's blood! Hiyoko's blood spray. Hiyoko's only wound was a fatal slice on her neck. And she died almost instantly, right? If Ibuki stepped on her blood... It means Ibuki was still standing when Hiyoko was mortally wounded. Well, does that mean you think Ibuki could, uh, I don't know, like, work in it? Which Keep means on. Ibuki was still alive at the exact moment Hyoko was killed. Don't underestimate the power of the evil eye! <laughs> Is that it? A shepherd dressed in his Sunday's finest still reeks of lamb, Hajime Hinata. Ibi, uh, he's sounding like a murderer. I hate Does this. that mean you have a rebuttal? Does that mean you have a rebuttal? Hmm. That's a good line. I love him. <laughs> but... Are you sure you're sure? If I show you how serious I am, this world might be destroyed, you know. You're so frightened, you can't even make a sound. It seems you've realized our difference in status. It feels like he's taking a huge dip at the jerk. Like, I've never, like, I don't think I've ever seen him do this for the other murders. He normally doesn't, I don't think. Nah, uh, he, he, I guess he's being, <laughs> he's being a lot today. However, the time for conviction oh, starts so now. You better entertain me to the fullest. Okay, bottle right, showdown. While you're entertaining Gundam, I'm gonna go grab my food. My matches are here. Okay. Uh, you're saying the blood on Ibuki's feet oh, belonged to, to Hiyoko? Ha! Huh, impossible! Try to remember the crime scene. There was no- You can't step on blood that was never there. <laughs> Just a- Did you see a nice nightmare? Despite his exaggerated protest, I feel like I've already seen an opening to counter. Is this a trap? You're saying the blood on Ibuki's okay. feet belonged to Hiyoko? Ha! There's Impossible! Is there a mop? Try to remember yeah, the crime scene. On the floor. There was no blood on the floor. There we go. Allow me yeah. to cut through those words. Born camps are so fat. You're so right, Anor. That's not it. Yeah, the, the reason the there was no blood on the floor is because the killer murder. wiped it away afterward. Okay. Alright. Um, I have my nachos, so I'm ready to proceed. With the okay. Court. Your Honor? <laughs> okay. Don't say such foolish things. You don't have proof of that at all. Yes, I do. If you look closely, there's a streak on the floor where blood was wiped away. When the killer tried to hide Hyoko's body, they probably cleaned the blood at the same time, but... Ibuki must have already stepped in it, and the killer probably didn't even realize it. The reason they wiped off the blood on the floor was so we'd mix up the order of the murders, right? Even if they're able to hide Hyoko's body, it'd be bad if her blood was left out in the open. Plus, Ibuki's body was left out in the open, 
And it wasn't bleeding from any open wounds at all. Yoko's body was probably wrapped in duct tape to stop her bleeding. Actually, the bleeding will stop once the heart stops beating. So I don't think they had to go that far. Aside from Mikon, none of us were aware of that fact. So the killer probably did not know it either. Weird that Sonya wouldn't know it. The... She, she feels she's, like she knows that kind of stuff. She, she's only into the, <laughs> into the art form. Oh, the yeah. technical. Not the technical aspects. That's Maybe true. the heater was running inside the music venue so it would screw with Mikan's autopsy? I feel like they could have just stabbed Ibuki after hanging her. Mm -hmm. I That's mean, they also Anor could do said. a lot of things. Yeah, they could do a lot of things that didn't need to be. They could kill. So, um... I ended up having technical difficulties, so I had to stop. Uh, sorry for the abrupt end, but we will be we will carry on, like right at this point of dialogue. Um, uh, and these vods are like way on a backlog, so I'm not even like <laughs> not even able to go back to like a dang and romba save or anything. No, we completed the game. I'm just bad at uploading vods. Anyway, thank you guys for watching.